Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can transpose an image using Python. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is import the pillow module, which is a really great photo editing tool. And it's called PIL for short. So what I've done is I've imported PIL and I've given it an alias of P. So wherever we reference P later on, it's calling the pillow module. The next thing I've done is I've created a variable and this is just an easier way of loading the image. And I've called this image file. And what I've done is I've specified the sort of file path along with the file name and its extension. And I put that in quotes and I've called that image file. The next thing we need to do is we need to load this image file into our Python shell. And we do that by typing in p.image p dot image dot open and then in brackets we call our image file with reference to the file path file name and its extension just to show you the image we're using it is this image here and so what we're doing is we'll be rotating that and flipping it um, accordingly as to however we want it to be So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to go through a list of readily available options and I've called this like type one stuff and what type one is is that this is a standard in the command list. So you can type in p.image dot and then flip dot button is an option. So what I've done is I've typed in image calling our opened image and then dot dot transpose and in the transpose brackets I've typed in I basically called the image again so I typed in p dot image dot and then let's flip it flip it top to bottom so flip in capitals that's very important remember it's in capitals and then let's go top bottom and then let's show this how we do that we can just type in transpose image type one dot show and then let's see what we get and here we see that it's flipped um, from top to bottom we can also do the same from left to right dot flip left right and then also show it by rerunning it and then that sort of reverses it this way other standard options we have is also rotating it by 90 degrees or so so if, you know, p.image dot um, rotate 90 degrees, 180 degrees or 270 degrees. Again, we can show that here. And notice that it's flipped 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is key here. So those are a list of our readily available options. If you wanted to rotate it, you know, not by 90 degrees at a time, but at a more specified degree you can also use some more non readily available options and by typing in image dot rotate dot dot rotate and then in the brackets you type in a sort of a degree so in this case we've got 45 degrees and then if we type in image the transpose image type 2 dot show we see here that we've rotated the image by 45 degrees. And because the image was a rectangle to begin with, and it's rotated 45 degrees, it will leave some areas around the four corners, which it will just fill in automatically, in this case, as black. So just be careful about that when you're rotating degrees, the image. And also, finally, if you wanted to save your new image, you can type in Let's say you want, to you want to save this image that's rotated 45 degrees. We type in transpose image type 2, which is what we've called this rotated image, dot save, and then we can call this file path, give it a new name. In this case, I've called it transposed Python logo dot JPEG. Give it the extension number, and then if we run it, it will show us the image because we've got the image dot show but also we will have it saved 
in our file path. So let me just go there and show you. If we go to our file path, here we have our file, file name here, transposed python logo.jpg, which matches our file name here, transposed python logo.jpg. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also comment as well. I'll also be putting the source code in the comment section. So if I forget to do that, please do remind me. Thank you very much for watching.